Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Dungeons of Dreadmore. We're downstairs, and I'm already a little bit worried. Try to remember the footy guy. It's not our first time against footy. Um, there's also the Crab King here. Has a lot of health. Uh, let's go ahead and zap. Uh, should we zap these guys? Just wait. I think. Okay, here we go. Okay, good. So our crab guy, no problem. The demon, no worries either. I was worried that the animals would be the ones we just are able to wipe the floor with, but it looks like all of them. So that's the hungry diggle. Crown of yellow. Let's, we'll have to look at that and see if that's better than our current mask. Okay. I was worried. Turned out nothing to worry about. That wasn't too bad. Okay, let's look and see what we have here. So we have our cool mask here. We got as a reward. Um, grants us some protection against, or actually does transmutative damage, it looks like. Okay, and then of course we have our current mask, or the crown of yellow. Gives us necromantic protection and damage. Three defense. Mm, this is eight defense. No, no, no. Mask is better. No question. Okay. Now I'm going to question it then. Pick up everything we can. I think our inventory is still, yeah, pretty light. So actually, I was wrong before. I thought we had never gone down to the uh, seventh floor before. We have done that. Oh, that's tempting. I would love to pick that up, but I don't know how we do that right now. We have been down just this far. I don't think we've ever had this guy before. Lucky. Okay. Lucky turns out to be nothing to worry about. Well. Pick that up. You are a hungry diggle. And these guys having like 90 health is, you know, it's worrying, but we're apparently doing a ton of damage to these guys. Look at that. Just instantly murdered without even us really having to do much. Grandpa Mustache died instantly. All right. Need to stop worrying about. Oh, can I not? Okay, I just can't apparently go that way. Then maybe I'd be able to like push that aside or something. I guess we could do this. I opened up something over here. What that do? Okay, well we got some stuff there. Chances are one of these moves the minecart. Maybe. Sound of machinery. Maybe not. Nope. Okay, well it did something. We just don't know what it did. Pushing random buttons, probably not a good idea. Like, long-term strategy-wise, probably not. Well, now. I'm not getting me wrong, the mines are interesting. But also, not very much of it. We get a cool weapon, that'd be great. Chances are, we can't disarm any of these traps, so I probably shouldn't even try. I knew I'm here. Hungry Diggle goes away. And right now I feel like... I mean... Not being able to touch me. He ignites me for two damage. Did I even take the two damage? I'm kind of immune to fire right now is the thing. Let's drink some wine here. Get some magic back. This guy doesn't even know I exist. So take out the cold golem. There you go. The golden doom tuber. Now the doom tuber did nothing. What do you do right now to me? I'm not sure what you're doing to me. Anti magic field. Okay, that that's bad. It's bad. I like my magic. Your counter chance is insane, sir. There you go. We're early enough to floor. I think it's totally fine for this. Monster Akizomaru, the Sufferer of Legs, must be defeated, and the artifact must be recovered. Alright. Might even be able to use the artifact. You never know. Oh, shit. A little early for a monster zoo, don't you think, game? It's a huge one, too. Look at this. Three rooms. This is going to take me forever. Alright, well, drink some gut rock, because we're going to need the magic. Oh, great. Some of them have summoning abilities. Alright. 
I mean, some of them have already just taken damage from nothing. I don't know what. Well, our counter chance is fortunately respectable enough to make this work. We are currently surrounded. I'm going to go and touch you here. Should murder a lot of these guys. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully it spreads the Thaumites around. Hopefully not on me. But I guess that's a possibility. You're a boss man. That means you go first. There we go. Counter it. I might need to sneeze again. Let's do that. No, I can't. That's down. It's on cooldown. For 40 turns, which is pretty crazy. I don't honestly know if the Thaumites are doing anything. There's a Thaumite Swarm over there, which is fine, but doesn't actually help me. These Doom Potato guys do not seem that bad. I thought for a minute they were going to, like, cast some horrible smoke cloud on me, like the, uh, the Plague Tatoes were. But no, they're just totally, totally worthless. It's like the Thaumites are on this guy right here. It's hard to tell how far those things are actually spreading, though. Got the mush the mustache guy. There you go. I haven't actually taken any damage yet, really. Not sure how that's possible, but I'll accept it. Thought for a minute there the game was actually gonna just freeze up. The autosaves freak me out almost every time. Surprisingly, we're not doing that bad. I mean, basically I just need to stand here. Let the dual wield counter take place. Potatoes can do whatever they like. Most of them are just getting completely murdered. I did pick up some ground meat by mistake. I'll just go ahead and put that in my inventory. There you go. Not so bad. Kill the lucky. Footy. Unfortunately, there aren't that many animals around. The diggos are basically the only animals around, so it's the only one I get really get a bonus on. The rest of these guys are all demons and other kind of monsters, but doesn't really help me. Okay, well, the counters are working out great. Invisible guy here, so I'll just take him out. I think invisible guys get crits on me by default, so I think that's why they've been so difficult in the past. It's because they basically just massive damage every single time. Animals, take you out. Thank you. Yeah, the counter is just fantastic. There's got to be something that like, works against constructs, right? Some kind of skill tree, maybe? If not in the base game, then at least mod it. Okay. There's another boss coming in. So far, though, these guys have barely been able to hurt me. I should probably try to heal up. Assuming they give me, like, a second to do something here. So we've almost get taken out the entire first wave. Let's go ahead and eat some food here. Other mustache man. Go away. There's our boss carrot dude. Somebody just dropped some fire on me. I do not appreciate that. Maybe that was me? Maybe that was me. Here we go. Good level up time. Okay. Well, our first three trees are leveled up. So is Big Game Hunter. So I guess now it's time to really go into this stuff. Field Neurosurgeon will heal us. Probably not a bad idea. Let's do that. Yes. Means I need to allocate some space for that. Let's do... We have not been doing Unholy Warcry at all. So let's do Field Neurosurgeon for this. Why not? Okay, good counter on the invisible guy. So, I mean, the entire place would be filled with invisible guys, and I wouldn't know. At least not until they got close enough to be able to spot the slight distortion. Okay, nobody's around me. Grab that. Grab that. Oh, they're hungry, Diggle. Go away. And, of course, we're full up on health again because we leveled up. We might have been level up again. I mean, there's enough bad guys in here. It could happen. So far, so good. Well, we got a lot of combat. Yeah, a lot of... Oh, I can't even hover over it right there. It's all right. 
Got a lot of stacks of counterattack, basically. Just continue this nonsense. The common momentum, that's what I meant to say. Man. These guys do not give up easy. Well, they think they're doing their good for Lord Dreadmore, you know? Lord Dreadmore himself, I hear, is a really tough fight. And unfortunately, we're melee, and I hear that's actually the worst way to deal with him, but... It's my fault for looking for spoilers, I guess. Get rid of you guys. There you go. Is that another, is that another invisible guy down there? I can't even tell. It's blocked by the door. Fortunately, the counter chance, I don't know what we would do in here without a counter chance. Well, it used to be back in the single digit run days, we thought the only way to deal with the monster zoos was to have a companion. That did seem to help, but right now, really, it seems like the only way to deal with it is to have plenty of counter chip, or at least a lot of defense. Counter chance, defense, maybe dodge. Dodge might work. I guess if they constantly miss you, that's something. The trouble is there's a lot of these guys just throwing, like, anti-dodge chance at you all the time, so I don't know if that would really work out. It seems to be a common go-to, uh, especially for the Diggle Mages. Actually, was Diggle Mages? No, it was the, um, was it throwing anti-dodge chance at me? It was the gnomes. That's right, the gnomes were doing that. So, I mean, I guess if you make it this far, they're not exactly throwing a lot of spells at me this way. What's going on here? It only makes you stronger. Okay. I mean, suit up is still going on, which is crazy to me. But I guess part of the thing with one of the uh, armor class or armor skill tree was that the more you get hit, the more chances are for suit up just to automatically proc. go. Pick up all this stuff. Let these guys come in. Basically, if I just stay here, I'm probably in good shape for a little while. We gotta pick up all this nonsense. Hello. Just trying to pick up all the stuff around. These guys are just in my way. These footies look weird. They don't actually look like feet to me. I mean, I guess they have feet. Might be the only reason. Oh, I picked up an awful. Did not mean to do that. There you go. Guess they have feet and not much else, right? They have the feet. They have the eyes. I don't really see a mouth on them. How do they continue to survive? That's a lot of stuff. There we go. Because there's been so many animals around, it just automatically gets butchered. There's probably like a memory limit on how many things can exist at one time before either they despawn or crash the game. My guess would be despawn. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to pick up all this stuff, though. As much as we can. Uh, yep, brass mechanisms drop from something. Don't know what. Okay, this first part of the room, looks like we've got it mostly handled. There are still two more rooms left over. Hopefully sealed off. They still count as the same monster zoo. Look like at that, we have a lot of constructs downstairs. By downstairs, of course, I mean south. More people who live in the southern hemisphere regard north as upstairs? Probably not. I do that all the time, especially in 2D games, saying north when I mean just, or say upstairs when I mean north. But really, that's probably just a cultural thing. Let's take care of you guys. If you guys don't know I'm here, I do get a bonus on you. The constructs throwing spells? Honestly, couldn't tell. I mean, they're definitely dangerous in melee, but it looks like they have some kind of anti-magic field. They do. That's just rude is what that is. Yeah, they keep throwing that at me, too. Okay, well, I've had to magic field for days now. Fortunately, most of my stuff isn't magic. Like, that. if I was a wizard class stuff, that would be annoying. But right now, I'm not doing any... 
I'm doing a little bit of voltaic damage only because of the actual, like, voltaic stuff I think I have on me. Yeah, these guys are just throwing anti-magic. I'm going to be anti-magic for days now. 13 turns here of anti-magic. If I was a wizard, I'd be really upset. Yeah, he's out. I did pick up some coal that I didn't mean to. So I was pressing too many buttons. There you go. There's some more coal. Sure, why not? Let's come over here and grab these guys. Well, we definitely don't want to go to the west for sure. We want to go north. I think we need to finish off the Mocha Zoo. Yeah, let him counter himself to death. There we go. Nice. Okay, there we go. We're doing magic damage again, I think. No? No, not yet. The trouble is with the respawning happening also, it's hard to tell exactly how many of these guys were originally in the Monster Zoo and how many are just trying to be opportunistic here. I mean, it's possible some of these guys just teleported. Also, is there a way north? There might be. Yeah, that might be a door up there. Yeah, these guys are just being annoying right now. Don't crash the game. He apparently has a lot of Mind Blasts on him right now. I don't know why he has so many Mind Blasts on him, but he's dead now. That was a lot of Mind Blasts. That was like 15 different Mind Blasts on. There is an invisible guy right there. I saw a brief outline. And then disappeared. So I'm a little disturbed right now. There he is. Okay, Gorilla Crustanoid, not so bad. Only 100 health. As long as we don't let him get this first attack. Yeah, there we go. We got it. We're good. Stop throwing anti-magic fields at me. I would like to use my actual magic abilities. Like, right now, they're just taking up the mana and not doing anything. Ten more turns until that's over. This guy's just running for it. I can use Scotha's Root to stop him from running. Oh, right, I'm prevented from casting spells. Never mind. Just caught up to him anyway. That's fine. Okay. Now I think we need to dig deep. Let's go. Two more frickin' rooms in here. They're just gonna come for me? Yeah, I think they're just gonna come for me. If I get surrounded, I can always Thaumite. That did seem to help us last time. The thumb might sneeze, and I'm, I'm about to be surrounded, I think. Maybe not. The gold golem's not moving at all, which is weird. The rest of these guys just counter themselves to death. There are definitely some invisible guys in this room. It might just be the gorilla crustinoids, so. though. Though I gotta be sure not to be too complacent. Any invisible boss guy or mini boss, basically with the hollow halo around their heads, would be definitely very, very bad for me. Just nobody panic. It's very important. When you're surrounded by all the bad guys in the universe, not to panic. What they don't realize is that I can counter almost everything. Well, I have a good, what, 30% chance to counter? This gold golem has not moved at all. Kind of freaked out by that. Like, he should be trying to go for the surround, but he's not. Why isn't he coming down here? Just wonder if like, there's an invisible guy there I can't see, or is it just a bug? Like, what's going on? Like, this golem has no problem going to my right side. Why does this guy not want to go to my left? I'm so glad we're blocking most everything. We have some good defense. The crits. I did pick up something there. I think I just picked up some Zork Mint. It's alright. This is a pretty crazy monster zoo. I'm going to step forward one. Up. Oh, there's an... Uh, yep, that's invisible boss man. I'm going to see if we can just Thalmite this. Or not Thalmite. Uh, yeah, Fire of Hammers. Well, it got his attention. Not exactly what I wanted to do. But he is out. I'm going to Thaumite Sneeze, though. 
could give us a benefit. Especially if these guys die. Should hopefully spread. He killed that guy. Okay, then when they step on it, then theoretically the Thaumites will spread to them. And hopefully actually do some good. Poke you. I don't know, I'm not seeing the spread at all. Not sure if it- oh, there we go. Did they have a Thaumite infection? It's minor. I'm not sure how much it's actually worth. Like how much it actually affects. It seems like any little bit of extra damage would be good. Take some out in a single hit would be great, but I don't know. Well, this room is almost going to be clear then. These guys are not so bad, right? We don't have anything really that we're scared of in here. The Doom Tubers are like nothing. There's no worries there. The Hungry Diggles are dangerous, but we have so much defense like they can't even get through it. The Gold Golems take two hits, almost reliably. But they can be pretty easily countered. Okay, leveled up again. I will take... I don't know what this is. Thaumite Man. I think what it does basically makes you into Ant-Man, right? Triangle Man won't be giving you any more trouble. don't exactly know what that means. Everything else is already leveled up. I guess we could level up. I mean, stealing around first time we enter a shop's not a bad get. Especially for the smaller shops where some of that stuff's really good. We're going to have to level up a couple more times to get that, though. Sure, counter all you like. Just pick up all the Zork Mints. Pick up stuff as we go. There's an invisible guy right there. It's a Gorilla Crest Knight. Okay, that's not that bad. I was worried it was going to be something that is going to actually snipe me. And my mustache is out. These footy demons are just weird. It's a good character. A good, uh, good enemy design in here. Just some of these are really weird. Deep Diggle Smith. Don't even know what that is, but he dies. Dino Bot Mark IV. The Thombites might actually be helping me a little bit here. Like this guy, we barely even touched. Not even the count. Excuse me, in the counters. All right, Doom Tuber out. Yeah, this is not so bad. Doom Tuber sounds like something that should be like a competitor for YouTube. Doom Tube. What would be on Doom Tube? I mean, if they let anybody upload, then anything and everything, really, would be on Doom Tube. But I think, to, like, begin with, like, the reason why they call it Doom Tube would be, like, maybe conspiracy theories? Like, this is what's going to doom us all, maybe? Bit of age taking again, so yeah, stop doing that. Or maybe, like, a prepper type of thing? You know, like, people would think, like, the world's going to end, and so they make their bunkers. That could be what Doom Tube's about. It's specifically for the the prepper community. That'd be actually maybe there is a Doom Tube. Actually, now that I think about that, it might actually be just a channel on YouTube. All right, I'm going deeper in. Ah, oh, shit! The freaking constructs with the anti magic fields again. All right, so we're not gonna be doing as much damage anymore. That's okay, most of our damage is ingrained into our weapons anyway. Wouldn't it be horrible if anti-magic damage actually like reduces your damage to only the non-magic types? So just piercing, just crushing, and that'd basically be it, right? I think all the rest of the damage types are magical. Iborian, cold, fire, he just turn himself he just, yeah, paralyzed simple to move or act. He's hiding, basically. I'm trying to move over to this guy. Oh, just freaking paladin. Lava fish, whatever you want to call yourself. He's dead now. Let me pick up his ground meat. Did not mean to do that. I think we gotta go for the constructs. Having no magic damage. It's not necessarily horrible, but it's not great. Critting like crazy, though. We're almost done with the second room, Mantra Zoo. So, once the zoos just get bigger and bigger, 
Like, if we ever gonna just luck out and just have a tiny monster zoo ever again, like we did at the very beginning? Because that was great. It's funny, you know, I don't think I've seen any other kind of monster zoo kind of mechanic in any other roguelike. It's the only one I can really think of that has the type of thing. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, yeah, for the most part, a roguelike mostly comes down to being at bad guys, right? It's mostly what it is. No question. But is it improved by this kind of, like, fierce concentration of bad guys? How is that sparky? Trying to get to these guys, that Diggle movement is actually just blowing my mind right now. I was like, Diagrab must have been a boss because these guys are all scared of me now. Is he moving side? Is he moving diagonally? I can't move diagonally. That seems rude. Can I move diagonally? Can I? I remember. Hold on. No, I cannot move diagonally. I'm using the numpad there to see if I can do it, but no. So I can't move diagonally. Why can these guys move diagonally? I've never seen a monster zoo in any other roguelike. I mean, there's monsters to defeat, sure. Sometimes they're grouped in highly concentrated numbers. But not like this. Not this highly concentrated. Like, this is insanely concentrated. Like, a monster almost every tile is pretty nuts. Alright, I'm gonna give this ourselves a moment here. To collect some stuff before we go into the next room. Alright. I think we're ready. They're probably ready to bash through anyway, so let's just do this. Again, nice thing about this is a natural bottleneck. But I'm trying to think of, like, any other game that does something like this that just throws... I mean, I guess it's been a while since I played all the way to the end of, like, Mission Thunderbolt. But I think there were some segments that were kind of like this. We'd have just, like, a room full of bad guys. Like, what the hell happened? Sometimes, though, you kind of, like, dig your own grave. Like, there's some slimes. I forget exactly what they are. They might just be called slimes. But what happens if you hit them just once, um, and it's not enough to kill them, they split. And sometimes they'll just split anyway. So, you know, one slime turns to two, two turns to four... Four turns to eight, suddenly, you know, you have an exponential progression. Geometric? It's one of those. Anyway, it's bad. And if you're not careful, they will just split on their own, too. They won't necessarily split just because you hit them. They might split because of other reasons. There we go. Thumbite was probably the right thing to do there. These guys are just full of mind blasts. Um, so you might have an entire floor that has slimes. Well, reason to do that would be because the slimes have a real high chance to drop money. It's not much. It's like maybe, you know, two or three each, but with the geometric progression, that gets a lot really fast, and money is really useful in most games. Not always. Like, Space Runs has no money whatsoever, but most roguelikes do. I don't know if the original Rogue did. It's been so long since I played the original Rogue. Really, the funny thing is, I never really got into the original Rogue because I like sprites. I like being able to, like, see the animation, see all the movements and stuff. And for some reason, I was... Well, I mean, to be fair, when I played Rogue, the first time I played Rogue, I might have been... Six? Young, anyway. And my favorite game... I use the word game quite wrongly, by the way. My favorite game back when I was very young, like when I was like, I don't know, four or so. My dad brought home one of the first computers of the family. My favorite quote unquote game was a word processor. It wasn't even a word processor, I think it was actually probably just the command line. And what I would do is type a bunch of letters, numbers, whatever, just smash my hand on the keyboard. And I would be immensely, immensely satisfied for some reason, with just hitting the delete key. Hitting the arrow keys and moving the cursor and then hitting, you know, delete or backspace and just watching the characters disappear and that was satisfying me for hours. I don't know why. 
I mean, I was, I was four. What are you gonna do? But I mean, that didn't have any sprites, and I was satisfied with that for a while. But then, for some reason, Rogue, I don't know, never really captured my imagination. To be fair, like the games that were competing with it at the time. I mean, Rogue was an old game. At the, when I was young. Even when, yes. But, um, my parents really like it. And then, of course, Mission Thunderbolt was the roguelike that really took my family by storm, I think. Well, my dad really liked it. My mom got hooked on it. I played the hell out of it. My sister is, I think, the only one who didn't actually play it long term. Like, she tried it because the rest of us were playing it. It's like, okay, I'm gonna try this out. But really, video games never seem to really be her thing. I thought the same true was mom, for mom too, but mom got totally hooked on Mission Thunderbolt. She still occasionally plays it, but not nearly as much anymore ever since she moved to the iPad. One of these days, there's got to be a good port of a good roguelike for her. But she's never really got into any other fantasy roguelikes. It's mostly just been sci-fi. It's really hard to find sci-fi roguelikes. They are not common. Alright, we've taken a little bit of damage. We should probably heal up. We're not doing too bad, though. Let's go ahead and just, uh... Eat some food. What's our best food item right now? We don't have any meals. It's just steaks, right? So basically all we got... We have 14 steaks. The beauty of being a big game hunter is basically we have all the steaks in the world. Alright. It's gonna do it, though. We're gonna actually finish up this monster zoo. The autosaves freak me out. Every time. Stop freaking me out, autosaves. Of course, some of these guys might have escaped, but for the most part, I think we're in the, in the clear here. Unless something horrible happens, we should be good to go. Stop with the anti-magic field, like seriously. Okay, theoretically last guy. We teleported, so maybe not. Okay. Well, we did pretty well. We made it through. Not too much damage, really. I'll definitely take the blessing. Oh, here comes all the diggles. Trying to protect the blessing from me. I'll just stay put. They're gonna teleport around anyway. Animation just takes so long on these guys sometimes. Don't get me wrong, the jumping out of the ground animation is neat. But it does take quite a bit to go. I mean, it's only like a second. But when a turn can take, like, you know, a tenth of a second. A second's a long time. How many of these guys are going to be? Apparently just more. Alright, we'll get Mert. And I think that's it, right? Yes. Take the Blessing, whatever that does, and move on. Kind of surprised we haven't actually... Oh, hello, store. Uh, sure. That is a bad sword for me. Star Amulet's interesting, but not nearly as good. Ooh, that recurve crossbow, though, could be good. Alright, so sort this. Sell you all this stuff. Sell you all this stuff. Nothing in my inventory, otherwise I want to leave necessarily. Well, maybe the potato. Oh, I do have blue fish sushi. That's a pretty bad shot. I mean, the Clocus Sega Sagan is interesting. Four defense, three. Yeah, but not nearly as good as this, right? Yeah, there's no reason why we give up the 18 defense. That's the only thing that made us survive this last monster zoo. Not giving that up. Not crazy. One doe is 20 damage. This is 18 damage. So none of these have come close. Crossbow is... We can totally afford that. 14 damage. Yeah, okay. Alright. Let's take the crossbow. There you go. Not that I have any bolts right now, though. We haven't found any bolts in a while. It's been, what, a few floors now? Um, I think we've already technically... Yeah. I think we've already technically boosted an item on Krong. I don't remember if it's been on this floor or not. 
It'd be safer not to, though. And really, it wouldn't help us too much. Um, let's go Ninja Vanish. I don't know if we're actually going to use that at all, though. Oh, come on. More Diggles? All right. Just stand still, then. Let's just let this happen. You die. Is Zozabook the uh, guy we're supposed to be going for the quest? I don't even remember what the side quest is now. Well, he's dead now. This doesn't actually matter. Somehow... Are you shitting me right now? All right, Diggles. Come on. Come on. Just die. There you go. More Diggles. Are you serious? All right, I'm going to open this door now. So we're done with the Diggles. That's a lot of crystals. We're not done with the Diggles. The Diggles are just infinite. There can only be Diggles. I should have gotten the Weird Diggle power. At least I could join them. All right. Well, the crystals the crystals do break. I don't know why we would want to, but they do. Why would you want to break the crystals? Do they do anything when they break? Because we can find out. Clockwork Pizoblade. Does 18 damage. I'm really enjoying the extra defense that I'm getting for these weapons right now. I guess I can just pick this up. Oh, there's a ruby behind it. Maybe there's a yeah, there's a gem behind each of these, actually. Well, not necessarily each of them. But a lot of them. Otherwise, we just pick up the magic. Actually, we can't pick up the magic because I'm full up on magic right now. Actually, I'm not full up, but I'm close enough. Alright, well, fun, but not necessarily helpful. What is this? Dream dust, sure thing. Did it throw some more anti magic at me? He is. How rude. Well, I'm not sure where the rest of the the rest of the monsters we went to because we completed the rooms around it. We're not going to do a 20% chance. I was hoping by upping our burglary, we'd up our disarm chance, but apparently is not the case. I mean, right now I'm feeling vulnerable. It's a dangerous feeling to have. Because it's definitely not true. We did take more damage than I'd like to admit in that monster zoo. And we made it. We didn't panic at all. We didn't have any problem with food or anything. Like, we didn't necessarily like need to suddenly retreat and scarf down a bunch of food. That's It's definitely a step... It's definitely improved from the last monster zoo that happened. Probably can't break that one. But we definitely took more damage than I'd like. Okay. Ring that gives us 15 health. I mean... I'd rather just a solid defense. I suppose it's something. So far, so good. Should we just go downstairs? I mean, it feels like... We need better weapon. And these guys are taking two hits to take down, which is usually not a good sign. Oh, food's good. Take food. Clatching coffee, sure thing. But, I don't know. I'm feeling a little underpowered right now. Defense-wise, I think we might be alright. Offense-wise, I think it took too long to do that monster zoo. Guess that guy's in one hit. That's something. Two potatoes out. Oh, well, some of these guys are in one hit. That's fair. You're two hits? Yeah, you're at least two hits. Well, maybe. It just depends how you count that. With a counter, I guess it was technically one. Suppose we could go into the shop. Oh, hello there. I didn't even see the griller customoid. It's a dead end, unfortunately. I guess we could just go downstairs. The shop here is not going to help us. We can go to the shop to sell, but that's about all it's going to do for us. Well. 
I mean, this hasn't been so bad. It's just been a little blah. But blah is okay. Blah helps us survive. You guys know no one here. Surprised that crit didn't actually murder him. I might need better weapons if I'm going to make the crit actually murder. Yeah, see, that was a crit. It came close. Double counter there. Don't know how that works. I countered. No, he countered first, and I countered his counter, which I think is what killed him. Um, at the very least, I suppose we can pick up all this stuff and then get some money. Which maybe in the next shop will actually help us. Hyrule shield over there. Does not help me at all. Yeah, I need to I need to empty my inventory again. Where does this go? Ah, oh, only up there. Alright, that's next help then. Hello guys. No weapons at all. There's another foot guy over there. Don't care. Uh, someone's getting hit by traps, which is fine by me. As long as it's not being me being hit by traps, I'm good with it. That is not the way to go. That's cruel right there. That trap on the way back up from the previous floor. That's cruel. Maybe even cruel and unusual. Alright, sell you all this good stuff. I have a lot of nonsense in here, don't I? Let's get rid of all the stuff I just have one of. There, that helps a little bit. There and there. There and there and there. There we go. That's a little bit better. Alright, let's go downstairs, I guess. Do we want to go downstairs? I mean, I think it might be the only chance we have. Hold on. Is it because these guys are in here that the Monster Zoo is not technically done? Is there easy enough to take out? That was not it. I have no idea what's making this monster zoo not actually complete. Maybe off to this side? You guys technically in the monster zoo? No, you're just defacing the altar of Krom. I mean, first of all, don't do that. But second of all, that should not count towards the monster zoo at all. Yeah, you just get critted. Unless one of these guys is... No? Okay. Now just Krong. Alright, well, Krong, I have helped you no longer be defaced. So, yay. I think we gotta go downstairs. Got to. Pro I walked right into that trap. There's no reason to do that. I mean, I guess there could be more monsters who managed to escape the zoo somehow. I'm supposed to track them down, but I'll tell you right now, that's probably not gonna happen. I'm actually surprised I could pick that up. Yeah, I think we're going to just take this staircase right here. We could wait, see what weapon we get, but... Really, the store is probably more likely spot to get a good weapon. And right now, it doesn't seem very likely. So let's just go downstairs. Oh, well, this seems like luring us into a false sense of security. Uh, we need to be able to take out the Ely from afar. Let's do this. Well, now they know I'm here. For better or for worse. Grab some gut rot. Do that again. Do that again. That Ely just said, will not die. What are you? You're big red. Lightly injured. Oh, all right. We're just going to be completely and totally destroyed by anything I throw out. Fantastic. Okay. What are you? You're a flaming golem. You do some minor fire damage. I mean, I do take a little bit of fire damage from that. You are a lava Ely, to be fair. Did not even realize that until just now. Okay, that hurt a little bit, but you're dead. Flaming Golem. What is this? Clockwork Actuators. Ooh. Four additional might. Five defense. Four absorption. Definitely better than our current pants. 
Time to just leave our current plants just sitting on the ground, actually. Don't we have... Oh, no, we have room. We have room. That's some fantastic pants there. These guys, so far, don't seem to pose much of a threat. Especially with those pants we just found. That's a pretty good find. Uh, do we here have a quest? Yeah, there was something on level 8, but we're on level 9 now. Surely enough on level 9, I think we can make this happen. Sapo, the captain of foes, has been lost. Alright, I'll keep my eye out for it. Might as well close that. Oh, okay, that just goes downstairs a little early to just head on downstairs. Probably not a good idea. Should probably drink something here. Drink some ice wine. Make sure I'm gonna keep my magic up. Well. Lots of ice wine, lots of grapes. Make more ice wine, probably. No idea how you even make ice wine. I'm just gonna assume it's grapes. I think wine, I think grapes. I guess that's not necessarily true. You can make wine out of apricots, make it out of pears, you can make it out of dandelions, I mean, you can make it out of pretty much anything that'll ferment, really. But nevertheless, whenever I think wine, I think grapes. I'll just hit a monster zoo. Just die instantly. I mean, right now, I'm not too scared about what the game can throw at us. I'm only worried right now if, like, something doesn't work in melee. Oh, all right. Don't do that. That was interesting, but not helpful. In case you're surrounded, pull the lever. All right. I mean, I guess that could work out for me. 15% chance. Not going to do it. Hello there. That should have been the boss, so I think the rest of them will run for me now. Usually the different colored one is usually the boss. They're really all about those encyclopedias, so kill you. I like the, the picture of the demon up there. It's good. Okay, get some more experience. Hello there. Flamer didn't even get a chance to flame. And we're looking for an artifact. I don't remember that. Heck, Raven. So are we actually, like, in hell right now? How very Diablo-esque. Was it the original Diablo? I don't remember which one it was. They're basically... I think it might have been the original Diablo. Or basically, the whole idea was that Tristram had a portal to hell. Like, it actually went straight down. That might actually be true here, too. That was a lot of hits from there. We managed to survive it, but the worst surrounded. I probably should use Thaumites for that. Uh, sure. Pick up the Ice Wine. What could possibly go wrong? And the Zork Mints. All right. Do not teleport without knowing where you're going. Unless, of course, you've already cleared most of the floor, in which case you go wild. These demons are a little rough. If we manage to block them, that's fine. But if we actually manage to take the hit... And that guy charged me again. The charges are a little hard to detect because... Well, there's no animation for it. I mean, they basically just move multiple times in the same direction. Which I guess you're supposed to take as a charge. Alright, do we want to go ahead and upgrade anything we have here? The Guan Do might not be a bad... Yeah, okay, we can do that. Assuming Krong is amenable. Krong is amenable. Gives us an additional two counter chance. I will totally take that. What's our counter chance up to right now? Counter chance is at 35%. That's not bad. I did not mean to step there. Too late now. Um... Do -do -do -do. We wait until we're surrounded, then sneeze. Here we go. Ah, chew. Again, not sure it helps too much. The counter chance might help more than anything else, or the block chance, which seems additionally pretty high. These guys don't seem to care that we're even here. 
Yeah, did not seem to care at all. There you go. Uh, might as well pick up the offal. We've got a lot of it. Uh, south it is. Let's go south. Well, we've got lots of different kinds of food. These demons are dangerous, but only in numbers. By themselves, they're okay. If we get a monster zone this level and it's full of these guys, we might be in trouble. But only if they surround us. Can I disarm this? I can just pick it up. Okay. Well, assuming there's a shop down here. I personally wouldn't set up a shop in hell. But I'm not a business owner, so maybe there's a really good reason to do so. Maybe Hal has all the money. I mean, it seems like after the apocalypse, that's probably true. What are you? Oh, you're Lava Ely. Okay, just never seen you from the front before. Alright, this is a little dangerous. Blocks worked. Magma carrot. Alright. Oh, don't walk in front of the Ely. Yeah, he hurts. It's okay. We got him. Another puzzle here. I'm not good with these. I'm going to leave it. Magic sandals. I'm not going to cut it. I'm mostly immune to fire. Probably should still not stand into it, though. Not actually immune. Just slightly resistant. Another Krong. We cannot do that. He will be mad at us. I'm going to ignore the Ely as well. Well, best I can, anyway. With him spitting fire at me and all. Hopefully that's a limited time use type thing. Somebody's throwing a lot of fire at rounds. I picked up a pear brandy I did not mean to pick up. That's the kind of thing that usually ends a run. I mean, that did hurt a bit. We're okay, we lived, but that was pretty bad. Oh, another, yep, that's Phoenix. Fortunately, he just died very easily there. Really? Throwing axe? You give me a throwing axe now. I mean, I guess it's 10. If you have, if you upgrade your throwing skill, I suppose it's decent, but we don't have that skill tree right now. I keep expecting to die around the next corner. I mean, the first time we've ever made it down this far, I think. Don't remember doing it. The thing is, like, if we're in hell, how much further down could Judgmore actually be? I'm going to go downstairs. It's a risk, but I'm going to do it. Okay, Bolt Eruptor. Sounds excellent. It's got to be better than our current weapon, right? It's 14. This is 10 and 10 fire. So if they're not immune to fire, yes. Steel Reinforced Boots. Well, it reduces our sneakiness chance, but and also our magic. But not by much. Definitely better than our current boots. Yeah, I'll pick it up. Now we definitely need a shop. Yeah, we're stomping around though, so we're definitely not going to be sneaking anywhere real soon. Well, Dreadmore's here. I mean, he could be. He could be anywhere. Full plate armor. 12 and 10? No. No. How about seven and four? Okay, seven and four is better. There you go, and I will drop the box side because I don't need that. Well, it's definitely the warning. Those who would be full of the sanctity of the Mother Shrine shall know the Wrath of Flame. Okay, I don't know who Mother is, but I'll just leave that alone. How about that? Surprisingly, no bad guys down here, so I'm thinking maybe this is actually where Dreadmore is, and. We're supposed to meet up with him and then die. Um, let's just eat something or maybe throw something away. Let's throw the trap away over that way, maybe. That was not where I meant to throw that. I right, just pick that up, put it over there. There you go. We'll grab the gold, I guess. But yeah, there doesn't seem to be much here. Oh, there we go. There's a bad guy. And not even Dreadmore. 
Okay, looks like we do need an upgrade to our weapons. Though, we're doing pretty well. That was, what, two hits? Still made it out? That's not so bad. Let's go ahead and minimize these so I know where I'm going. In Uzi. I don't even know. All right, well, I guess we'll continue this run next time. So thank you for watching. This has been Dungeons & Dreadmore on PC Universe, your PC Universe 2. And I'll see you guys next time.